Arman is a house for a lovely couple, their young daughter and grandmother. So that's that's where the small family. And when we saw the chunk of land, uh, we were excited because uh, it was barren land with a beautiful neem trees, and there was some digging had happened for making a lake. So the requirement from the clients were very brief. They are quite social meeting friends and inviting friends and families so they want to really have a nice uh, space. The site is located at a place called Kolat which is a suburb of outside of Ahmedabad. The city is growing towards this side and we have the north side road and the plot is really large. Almost uh, 23,000 square yard plot. So it's more than 2 lakh square feet um, area. It's huge land and uh, we thought we'll build a house on southwest side. We have a lovely view towards uh, south villages, so we have kept it open. The house is uh, about uh, four bedrooms and the living spaces, so it's almost like a 15,000 uh, square feet house. Uh, the kind of uh, size of the plot we realize uh, and it's in surroundings all farmlands uh, we thought we have to create our own kind of uh, castle in a way uh, so periphery we we wanted to have a dense plantation and we took this miyawaki forest making this uh, philosophy of some japanese person who is a miyawaki he created uh, planting trees near by near and that's how they they grow in a different way, like almost like a forest field within very less margins. So all peripheral margins has been planted in that way with the very native trees, so which will invite birds to come and you know, so lovely. So this house not only for the humans, but it's for birds and uh, creatures as well. You can hear the chirping of the birds as well. So that's okay, that's, that's where we are. In fact, uh, we don't have to be very precise, let the birds and everybody live. So we have entry from the northeast corner because the road is on the north side. There's a security guard over here and you drive through nicely having a view of a open lawn, grand lawn and you pass by the building actually and you come on this part of the space where we have planted a nice big banyan tree or sense of forever rather than creating a porch as such. So it's a nice big plaza eventually the tree is going to grow very big. On the um, southeast corner, we have uh, certain quarters and utilities. We have parking, and then you are entering on the main arrival hall. Uh, you have the east-facing uh, entrance where you have seen the nice little Nandi statue there, and then you walk through that. You have Pishwa is a sense of first glimpses of the understanding of the way and lifestyle and liking of the clients. So we have Pishwa painting as a highlighter. So from the formal living space, you walk through the covered corridor and you enter the one of the living space which is combined with the dining and the living space with the powder toilet and it is connected with the utility kitchen. We have large wooden um, dining table with the uh, wooden chairs and the highlighter jar. You have complete view towards the north side uh, where uh, there is a swimming pool and the gazebo. Combining this outdoor gazebo next to the pool, again, it's being of a very hot climate, they are all air conditioned space over there. So we have combined the whole thing with a nice large wooden deck. Yes, wooden deck has, will also eventually require a shadow. So we have planted a lovely tree we call borsali. Uh, in Hindi we call mal Malsari. It's a tree which is evergreen tree. They take time to grow, but they, once they grow, they are evergreen and they look fantastic. Um, you can see at the moment they are three years old, I would say maybe or two and a half years old. After five years, they will become completely canopy of the trees and the space will be wonderful. You come to another living space via courtyard and deck, which is formal space. So it's next to the home theater and master bedroom wings. Also it has been strategically placed along with the swimming pool on that side. And at the same time we have the glass on the other side so you can ex actually see the lovely sunset from right over there. And on the northern side which is uh, you don't get direct light so you can, you can keep the curtains always open and see the outside where we have the beautiful lake and the gazebo. 
the young daughter she has her own domain which is next to the parents but she has completely private space for her with her own deck and little spaces and she is a vivid reader and she loves books and we being see young we really wanted to have little pop up kind of character that's how we have blue color and also little uh, arch kind of a gazebo space where she would sit in outside and she has also collects on the books this is the bathroom for the daughters and you can see our and her love for the concrete and we have concrete flooring we have concrete platform we have concrete basin lovely basin done by somebody locally and we have the tub again covered with the concrete uh, finishes so idea was to have raw concrete feel looking outside the beautiful courtyard with the alokasia hathi kan gujarati mein bolte so we have only limited palette because we want to make this entire compass and more like a painting and artwork and you see through this crack glass which is surprise but this looks wonderful to me so all the bathrooms are spacious as you see and they are all attached with the wardrobe and uh, big dressing rooms as the plan was setting up we had a location of the pond which was like free form because that time they were digging out the leg to fill up the soil so originally i mean the kind of whatever shape was happening we fine tune so if you see there is a transition from the rectangle to the curve the edge of the swimming pool which is straight towards the house but it's become little free form and that free form continue to the legs we thought it will be nice to have a gazebo right in the middle of the lake uh, to have a view of the house so there is a from house you have lake but you have some structure to enjoy it's it makes a frame complete in terms of the look and feel and similar way when you are there it's a very comfortable living space with uh, air conditioned space so even in the day time one can go and sit and relax we have like hanging a kind of uh, little hangout projection where you can sit with your cushion and sit there it's a house and it's a house for indian family and we all understand when the daughter is young the you can understand the feeling of mother she really wants her daughter to get married from her own house and there was a perfect demand that here and why we really require a lovely lawn and you can see that's the large lawn we have really kept and thinking that if they have feature a lovely event they can host the marriage function right from home and then we subconsciously like an event designer we have thought that we can have little stage in the pool and things like that and the house can become like a background the house is ever growing you know generation by generation the needs will change so even it's a large home or a small home people find the constraint later on so we thought this is an opportunity we have to take a different approach to make the house where there's a flexibility of adding and deducting my take away for this is uh, if you incorporate greenery into the house greenery is something nature and nature gives you so much of pleasure you don't need expensive italian marble or expensive furniture for me this house will still get complete after 10 years i mean i'm i'm absolutely visualizing this house after 10 years how beautiful it will be when the garden will be absolutely mature so that's that's where we have still wait for another 7 uh, 8 years to see that what is the designs we have thought of